When you're working with payroll in QuickBooks Desktop, you have an option to turn it on through your home page by clicking on turn on payroll. Also, you can go to employees section here, go to payroll and turn on payroll in QuickBooks. Okay, and here you have multiple options for that. And when you click on this turn on payroll through either from this option employees or from home page it will present you with a subscription option for that you have to connect to internet and it charges you 199 per year depending on your company size it may or may not be suitable for you okay so i'm gonna exit out of my current company and i'm gonna close this and i'm gonna open list of available default or you can see sample companies so let's just go through that okay so open a sample file here you see sample service based company and it will open list of available employees and the product and service activities within that company file and from there we are going to see how the setup for payroll has been managed okay, it will update the company file if it is never opened before and now when you open that sample you will find that it has payroll center already turned on so we get to see how the process work you can go through employees again then click on payroll setup so that it can set up that payroll with a specific set of options okay so it will go through that process again and when the first time you do this for your own company you have to go through employees then payroll setup and it will collect all the data Okay, so here it shows you payroll setup if you continue it will ask you the compensation next thing continue and you have your list of benefits you can keep on adding them okay then pay time off other leaves then list of employees okay just continue Okay, now you can continue with set of taxes here. Then it will process that information. Okay, then payroll summary. And then finally it will show you the interface for your paychecks. Okay, the type of checks that you send to the employees all will be listed here okay and done entering paychecks or finish later okay and then continue finally you can go to payroll center and it will open that payroll center interface okay it looks something like this Okay. And you can set the date 15 or let's say third of every month or first of every month depending on how you want to set the paycheck okay now you can also keep the paychecks count how much to pay total pay per month okay also you get other things to look at as uh, status for those paychecks and how you want the schedule to work around okay you can double click and edit that okay right okay you get to adjust the date your banking account okay and then you can choose the employees and then you can simply click on continue to review and finally print and distribute.
okay this may take a little while to learn depending on your company process and how you want to process checks through your bank how you want to pay them directly through net banking or through checks or through cash you will have to go through those preferences in your payroll services you can close this and then come back to your home here you see your process for payroll center pay employees liabilities and the forms okay along with hr related process for as well so this was a short demo on how to work with payroll center in quickbooks desktop